Now to another story we've been tracking all day long and first broke during our noon newscast. Dr. Ricardo Romo stepping down as UTSA president. This comes a little more than two weeks after being placed on administrative leave. In a statement to the university community today, Dr. Romo explained the reason he was originally put on leave. And now in a new statement through his attorney, Romo is clarifying why he decided to step down. Our Stephanie Cerna joins us in the newsroom. Steph, I understand in his statement he makes clear he was prepared to fight these allegations. Well, that's right, Steve. In a statement to the UTSA community earlier this afternoon, Dr. Romo said he was made aware of the manner in which he embraced women that made them, quote, uncomfortable and was inappropriate, end quote. Now, in a statement that just came into our case at newsroom through his attorney, Dr. Romo says, quote, there may be accusations, rumors, and speculations about conduct other than the abrazos that were considered offensive, that I had no improper intent. Giving or receiving abrazos is of no consequence consequence, end quote. Now, abrazos is the Spanish word for hugs. The statement says Dr. Romo says, quote, his family was fully prepared to have me wage this battle. My legal team was confident of the outcome. But Dr. Romo did say the chancellor was correct in establishing that there is no abrazo exception for a 73-year-old retiring university president. Students we talked to today say they are sad to see Dr. Romo go this way, especially because he was so close to retirement. He was very professional about it, so hopefully he does whatever he's planning on doing for the rest of his life. And it is it is a sad thing, and I'm pretty sure a lot of students are upset about it, but I mean, what can we do about it? As a TSA student, I've heard a lot of good things about him, but I guess it is kind of bad uh, that he is stepping down this type of way, that is sort of situation, because I know he was close to retiring. In Romo's statement to the UTSA community, which was released earlier this afternoon, he said he is declining his position with the Institute of Texan Cultures, where he initially planned to work after retirement. He says instead he plans on continuing his work with Father David Garcia and San Antonio's World Heritage designation efforts. Now, the search process for a new president is still ongoing. In the meantime, Dr. Pedro Reyes will serve as interim president. Ursula.